Um, I'm going to briefly demonstrate a method by which you can use the mini Q uh, in conjunction with the live Z score capability in order to perform a quick assessment. Um, this uh, is a simple procedure. What I've done is pre preloaded the software with the same mini Q settings file that we were using previously that uh, John Demos has demonstrated. And what I've done then is uh, made some modifications to the settings. Very simply, uh, in the data channels control panel, what I've done is gone to the electrodes and trainee information pop-up and simply changed the control to use the mini Q head box. Uh, that was how it was originally set. I looked down here. And then what I've done is I've added an age. I've put in an appropriate age for the individual and told it that the eyes are closed. And by setting the age and the proper eyes condition, I automatically notify the live Z-Score software that I want to do Z-Score feedback uh, with, the, with the training. Uh, the second thing I will do, I'll simply close this. And the second thing I've done just for today, for today's demonstration, is I've gone to the session control panel and I've reduced the run length now actually to 15 seconds. We're actually going to record each position of the mini queue for only 15 seconds. That will give us enough time to get a Z-score estimate that we can inspect and it'll also record a small strip of EEG 15 seconds long that we can look at later if we wish to. Finally, in the display options control, what I've done is made a change so that all we're going to look at now is the raw waveform, the brain mirror using the FFT, the fast Fourier transform, and I've also selected the Z-score text display. This display is going to display Z-scores in real time and allow us to get an estimate of um, what we, what's going on. So I'm going to, uh, on my panel, hit use these settings and I'm going to go to run the next session. I'll bring the training screen over here. I'm going to enlarge it to full screen. And I'm going to hit the go in order to begin the data acquisition. It says ready to start. It's telling me to put the position on position one, FCCZ. It says OK. Now it's telling me it's initializing Z-score training and telling me that FZ and CZ are going to be used for the Z-scores. OK. The data acquisition has begun. We see the EEG traces on the top. We see the spectral display on the lower left. And on the right, the lower right, we see that we're going to have Z-scores um, of the, the various information. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You can close your eyes, Ron. And this is FZCZ. As you can see, the system is saying FZCZ, and we're getting Z scores eyes closed. And 15 seconds have gone by. Visually, we can see that all of the scores are showing as normal. And we turn the mini queue now to F3, F4. And all I need to do is hit the space bar twice wants to restart the data and wants to let the z-scores begin. Okay, it's paused. We did see the relative amplitude of delta, if you were watching closely, did light up in green. We saw a little bit of green right here uh, for this pair. And um, that was consistent with the previous uh, data that we looked at. Now we're going to begin looking at C3 and C4. Again, space bar twice. There we see a little bit of hypocoherence showing up. Now we'll switch to P3, P4. 
Again, hit the space bar twice. There again, we see a little bit of um, uh, difference in the ratios, the ratios of delta to theta, delta to alpha. Um, again, consistent with what we saw previously. Now we'll switch to T3, T4. There's the beta we saw previously, lighting up right there. 1.2 standard deviations, T4 beta. That was the most pronounced deviation in the previous assessment, and it shows up there. In addition, we're seeing some phase abnormalities between T3 and T4. We also see reduced delta, which is, again, consistent with the previous analysis. Now we'll switch to 0102, let the signal stabilize. And it's complete. Again, we're seeing reduced levels of delta in the z-scores. It shows up also, we see in a um, uh, alpha to beta ratio, alpha to gamma ratio, we're seeing a, a reduction. Again, consistent with what we saw in the previous analysis. So this concludes a very quick run through of how you can use a mini Q in conjunction with live z-scores in order to get a quick assessment. Uh, you could also use these z-scores simultaneously with the full mini Q analysis. Uh, so you get a preview of the type of information you expect to see when you do a more thorough analysis. Thank you.